what's up YouTube, it's GoTats here and welcome back to a new episode of GTA 5 Top 10 Fails. So, incidentally, this really doesn't have a lot to do with the video, but I got exactly 10 clips sent to me this week, so quite lucky, wasn't I? And I think I'm making this like one day early, I think it's been 6 days since I posted the last Top 10 Fails. It could have been 7, I'm not sure, but I just felt like making another episode since I got some submissions and last week there was just a few that I wanted to like leave for this week because last week I got like a huge like overflow of submissions so yeah let's take a look at some of the fails and random moments that you guys sent me this week. In the number 10 spot, we have Smilodon here, and he's on Zakuchu, and he's gonna get this bump right here, and he's going for this precision stunt, and he almost sticks the landing, but he ends up falling off in the end. Maybe you should try that at the bad. In the number 9 spot, we have Legacy Pancakes here, and he got on his bike, he's just gonna be messing around until he gets up to the appropriate spot where he's gonna start his stunt, and he happened to get launched by his car there. So anyway, he's going to start his stun right now, and the stun is pretty much going to be, he's going to get a handlebar grind right here, and he's actually going to go into a side ride. Now, he gets like two side rides and like one mini cog slide, but he doesn't stick the landing. That would have been a really cool combination stun if he would have landed that. In the number 8 spot, we have Furious stunting right here, and now he's getting an especially long run up for the stunt that he wants to do. And it's because he wants to take it farther than a lot of people do, so he's going to turn at this road right here. And at the start of that road is where people will usually start doing this run up. Anyhow, he's going to go down the entirety of this road. He ends up reaching top speed pretty fast right here, and he's going to go off this bump like normal. And I always thought this was kind of cool bump, but he gets a lot higher than a lot of people did. Now, I'm thinking with this spot, like people can maybe take it all the way to the beer brewing plant, but he tries to like do it, but then falls off. In the number 7 spot, we have Sniper GV here, and he uses an ambulance, and he gets into his first cog slide right here, gets off of this, does a flip, gets in his other cog slide, and if he would have landed that, would have been cool, because a double cog slide, especially with the flip, is a pretty clean stun. In the number 6 spot, we have Wizzle Stunter in the snow here, and he's going to be taking the Sem to Word, like, Dark Stunter bump thing, and he's going to be going off here, and he's going to be trying something that no one's landed yet. He's going to go on the precision on the top of this pole, and he almost gets it, but he falls off here. Someone's got to land that with that technique. That's just too cool of an idea. In the number 5 spot, we have an interesting spot here from Tigezi12, and he's going to be taking this a different way than I've seen anyone take it. He really used the, his, the mountain to his advantage here, that's for sure. So I, I recall Red Keymon going off of that once, it's kind of funny, but he took this a completely different route. He's actually going to be going for an electricity tower that lays right below this mountain, and he gets somewhat close at doing it, he like goes out there, and then he kind of slides off. That's a really hard landing, but it is a good stunt idea anyhow, and yeah, I hope you land that sometime. If you just get the perfect landing, it'll be all good. In the number 4 spot, we have Mr. Pooh Waffles right here, and he's going to be going off of a bump. Like the, he, I think he got like a super bump here. I watched it a few times where I'm commentating over this now, and I still can't explain what happened. So he got this bump, and yeah, that kind of happened. That was kind of like two super bumps at once. It was really quite strange to be honest, but he's going for Penris, but didn't quite get the height. But if he would have landed Pen Penris right there, that would have been like an irreplicable stunt. Like, I have no idea how he got that bump. That's unheard of. That's not anything I've seen before. Coming in third place, we have Mark Tisham here, or Tisham, whatever. However you say that. So he's going to be going off of this, like, rock right here to get into his Enduro wall ride on the side of this hedge. And he's been doing most of it right, except getting face planted by this tree, which made it so he just, like, got knocked off his bike. Just got to fix the landing there, man. Coming in second place, we have Extreme Stunter XD here, and I know he's using Slipstream, he gets a lot of it, but with the perfect bump, somehow with the Slipstream, he's gonna be able to do a single bump, 
all the way to Long Bank. I know that sounds crazy, but he actually does it right here. He gets like the perfect amount of like height and distance, but doesn't get the landing because he's really, in all honesty, just going going too fast to do that. I'm not even sure that's possible to land, but anyhow, good job. Coming in first place, you have Diamond Reflex with an excellent BMX combo attempt. So you get to wall ride in this location where I've never seen anyone get wall ride. And he attempts the thread but doesn't quite get it. I put this in first place because I thought this was just like a really creative spot. And if you would have landed this, it would have been really epic. So with that all aside, that's going to be it for this week's episode of GTA 5 Top 10 Fails. If you want to send your own fail or random moment for a chance to be featured in next week's episode, then just refer to the instructions down in the description down below. It's pretty easy, you just gotta add me on my public Skype, Kotetsu Stunting, and just send over your clip. I'll, I'll make sure to tell you if like for whatever reason you sent in the clip wrong, because there is a few people that have been doing that lately, and I, I'll tell you that's either on private, like that's the most common mistake that I see, but there's also like some other complications that can arise too. I'll just like do a quick reply if you send in a clip and like for some reason there's like something wrong with it that makes it so it's not even considered. And just like any like fail or random moment will do. And also these same instructions will appear in French on the screen sometimes since I've been doing that for a while. And it does seem to help out. So with that all aside, that's going to be it for this video. So... If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to drop a like on the video because it does help a lot. And also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more. And until next time, this is Kotatsu here of Wonderful Dare Night wherever you live. Please be safe, Kotatsu out.